Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Conquest of Paradise Europa Universalis 4 with myself, Northern Lion, and Arumba. You say hello. I will say hello. <laughs> Let's do it. It sounded so unsure of yourself there. <laughs> say hello, hello please. Uh, last episode was good Warren, man. We had to, uh, we had nah, a, I, a I good war. Oh, yeah, no, me too. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrendous. I got one county out of that and you got $50. Yeah, I'm not pleased with myself. <laughs> yeah, I thought the war went pretty well. Yeah, you know, I went in there, got 59 ducats, and left. Uh -huh, yeah, mm. it, was, it was fine. Uh, I don't want to talk. So, about I know, right? I, I, Jesus, I'm still nervous about this this province that looks like land, but it's actually considering itself the Labrador Sea. It's, <laughs> it looks so weird. I can't even see it. So, oh, I see Portugal. Portugal ships. What? It's six, uh, ten Portugal ships, six heavies, four, four transports. That's a lot. Oh, Lord. Where is this? Yeah. In the Labrador Sea. The Labrador Sea. I don't even know if I have that it's discovered. A, on the far, the far east of our continent. They're here. 1519. I, I said 1525. So who said? I, I said say? like 1550. So I'm way off. I said well, they're not, I said they haven't colonized east. yet. I can't. Yeah, I don't think I can yet. see them. You said the far east? Yeah, you probably can't. I mean, unless you can see the ocean area. No. You just, I can't see them anymore. I only have, I can see one sea zone there. That's not good, man. That's so, that's really good. That's scary. Um, Ryan, I would like to make a, a trade offer to you, good sir. Okay. Um, yes. I would like some nice borders going on here. Uh, okay. In our main continent, our main continent. So, so I'll you, give you Yankton for Pawnee. Yankton for Pawnee. Sure, that seems reasonable. I feel like that'll I'll have I'll be connected that way, and I won't have this random piece of land over here. Wait, I'm looking at this for a second. Yeah, sure. Is it bad? Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. It, it seems like a. It's actually, if anything, probably better in your hand. Actually, I think it's a little bit better for you, but that's fine. It's not like my capital, is it? Pawnee. No. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure my capital is Michigan. All right. Uh, yeah. where is this relations economy alliance, economy actions? Yeah. Sell province. Good old Yankton for zero dollars. There you go. All yours. Alright, and you wanted uh Pawnee. Pawnee. Okay. Oh dude, my borders feel so much better now. That's why I saw that. I'm like, I have this piece of land over here. <laughs> let's, just, let's just clean this up. Oh, a I see. Bit. Yeah. This won't be super clean, but it'll be pretty good. Uh, I there'll guess, be connections, yeah. so. My relationship with you is plus sixty nine right now, just so just you know. Excellent. <laughs> oh, one sec. I don't have any diplomats. Oh, Portugal. I saw them again. One ship. Oh, they're getting they're gonna, sneaky. They're, they're going to keep poking around. I guess you'll be the, the first one to see if they have a colony. Yeah. Probably. So, yeah, Mathis, I'm just waiting for my diplomat to return. Okay. He's not going to be here for, like, two months because he was across the sea. But he will be here. I believe you. And you don't have to fear... Do um, mercenaries cost more from a maintenance standpoint, or are they just more expensive to build in the first place? They cost about the same in maintenance. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's the opposite. They cost very, very similar. It's like twenty percent more um, to build, to hire, to build. Yeah. But then they cost like fifty percent more in maintenance. Okay. Is there but, an easy way to dismiss them? Yeah, you just disband them like you would a regular army. There's a okay. button like like select your army, and then there's that little one of those four buttons toward the top says okay. this army. Uh, like d detached mercenary regiments. Oh, okay. Click I don't that, see it, but I I trust you. I'm li I'm looking at it, but it's there. Yeah. You you can you can trust me. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I've, I've never steered you wrong. <laughs> yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Never. Mm. Hey, my manpower is actually starting to build above maintenance level now. That's pretty good. How's uh? How's that diplomat? Oh shit, dude. Sorry. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give you Pawnee. God damn it! <laughs> okay, uh, sell province, Pawnee, for 400 ducats. Oh, I see Castile! Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet on Castile, man, don't forget about that. Castile and Portugal, they're starting to make way around here, it's, it's a little freaky. We're, we're definitely, we're on the eastern edge of the, uh, of the New World, so I think we're... In in my single player playthrough, I was on the like the the western side. Yeah. And it took forever, like sixteen hundred <laughs> before I saw anything. Really. Now, um, now I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see it pretty quick. Yeah, it certainly seems like it. And then I'm gonna westernize and kill both of you. No, not yet. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, our end game should be to take over one of the old world countries. Like, if we could take over, like, Castile, maybe, is a fairly reasonable one, if we live, anyway. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Think about it. Listen. Take over yeah. Castile or Portugal or something? Yeah. All right, I'm starting That's... to annex Cato now. Such bullshit, Mathis, that I have to recore your province. I am recoring yours, too. I'm not happy about it. No, and they, they were causing problems. I had to give them harsh treatment. The pains in the ass. Yeah, I have the same thing. The revolt risk is like plus 8.5%. Yeah. We want Mathis back. <laughs> you ain't getting him. He gave you away. He doesn't yeah. love you. <laughs> he traded you for Pawnee. <laughs> um, my 1-1 one, one general died. No. Boom, boom. So what's Pawnee produce uh, for goods here? Cotton. Pawnee, Cotton. hey, you better leave them alone. That was my playthrough in, in uh, <laughs> regular single player. Yeah, they they were like a part of my patrimony for like the past hundred years. Yeah, we what we need to do? We need to get over and attack the Navajo. They have nine hundred gold, like eight hundred. Wow, and they're yeah, just like see? just hanging out. Yeah, they're over there by the Shoshone, Blackfoot, Comanche, and they've got too much money for their own good. We should attack them. Mathis, I should sell you uh, the Illinuic province, because it's actually the province of Micmac. Where is this? Uh, like, the very northern continent. It's the southern tip. Hmm. I'm annexing it right now. Oh, 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 gotcha. And that annexation will be done in six fucking years. Yeah, I, I didn't even look how long the annexation is going to take for this one. Takes a while. I just, like, just do it. Didn't even think about Not it. Not very quick. No. Mm hmm. I just, I'm looking forward to getting Chickasaw. I want Chickasaw to be annexed because they're gonna have my money. They have they produce gold, so I want that. I money. wish there was like a a deeper diplomacy system. So, like if Portugal showed up, we could be like, okay, Portugal, like you could kick our asses, but don't kick our asses. Here's a map, and there's these real jerk-offs across the sea here. And they've got, like, these great provinces, so just go take them over. And lots of money. They have lots of money. Exactly. No gold, no gold here, gold over there. <laughs> Precisely. I think I'm just going to start crank up the fort levels of my areas. Areas. Yeah. I don't know if that matters, because the problem is as soon as you start westernizing, you, you lose all your buildings. Like, they just all disappear. Lame. So you don't want to get too invested in the buildings. That's so weird that it's like this. It's almost pointless to do all this stuff, which I don't like. Yeah. The well, economy stuff, I think, is worth it. The, but... uh, yeah, I mean, working yeah, on trade like I haven't, is really nice. I haven't built a single uh, fort or manpower increasing structure. I built the tax, plus some, tax income plus one and then the yep. local tax efficiency plus 25. Yeah. Uh, goods produced is pretty good. More like pretty goods. <laughs> pretty, yeah, totally. <laughs> You're so clever. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff right there. Sure I'm totally is. Suffering. <laughs> sure is. Arumba, you should stop like colonizing so quickly. Why? No, oh, it's annoying. <laughs> you can do it too. <laughs> I, I can do it. I keep losing my colonies like a dumbass. I do it one at a time. I'm a slow poke. Yeah. I still I want to see someone crunch the numbers on whether or not that's more efficient or less efficient. Then what doing one at a time versus multiple? Yeah, I I mean I guess by definition it has to be faster because you have two colonists. Or sorry, you have like a colonist in a county plus one kind of like passively growing. Mm hmm Well, I got into not an argument, but like a comment sort of semi debate with some people a while back. They were saying that it you know, you should always send your colonists to the smallest colony because it's better. <laughs> so yeah. No, you want you want your colonist to be working on the largest colony because the larger the colony is, the the, the higher his chance of increasing the 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 count by twenty five each month. Okay. So like, as the colony gets close to being done, he's like really really good at saying, "Hey guys, come on over here. There's like this city. <laughs> come live here." But when it's yeah. really tiny, what's actually growing the colony the most is the base growth rate. Okay. So what I like to do is you get like two or three colonies going and. For five years, maybe they're just growing at twenty-five to fifty a year, and then the colonist comes in and quickly rushes it to a hundred to a thousand. That's a really good point. I'm sorry, yeah. Mathis, that I'm now going to employ that strategy. 
Well, it might be too late. We're running out of land. <laughs> uh, I've still got a few provinces that Mathis has so nicely left me. I'm colonizing oh, two you, places you, right now. But... Those, those three next to yeah. uh, like, like Fox, Oglala, and Asanen. Exactly. Yeah, but the lower of the tax ones. I took the high tax ones. Yeah, but now it doesn't matter, man. It's true. We got to make our country look like a flag. <laughs> I wish the Federation stuff worked. The Federation stuff can work if you invite an AI. Oh, okay. Somebody mentioned it in one of the comments. Apparently, it's, it's, sense, it but... is bugged for players. Like, you would just invite, invite a, a, an AI. I can't talk yeah. today. Don't, I don't know why. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> okay. Just... It's not our usual recording day. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, just a general mess today. So I'm doing pretty yeah. good. My cat looks really cute, though, so that's good. Oh, that's good. The ungrateful natives of Pensacola have risen up, and they got crushed. Those damn Pensacola natives. Right. I keep, I keep I, seeing Portugal. It makes me nervous. Yeah, it's It makes me really excited. Then they come and just walk over us, and then we just restart as fucking Western nations. No way, man. We're going to take them out. Ye of little faith. We have so many Native American archers. <laughs> all those archers versus <laughs> all those guns and cannons. <laughs> yeah, I am curious to see like what their tech levels are. There and is no uh, substitute for good old-fashioned elbow grease. You've won me over. I am convinced. <laughs> yes. Like I can see their fleets, but I can't see them on the ledger. I can't see what tech, tech level they're at. But I have to imagine they're at like a 13 or 14 oh, right now. My, my opinion, your opinion of me went up by 30, Ryan. How cute. Yeah. We found, now that we we found common ground with each other. Now that we see Portugal, can we uh, see where they are in the ledger? No, I was just checking to try to check out their technology mm. or something, but it's not possible. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm just... eight... Oh man, this is not. I'm losing eight ducats a month now. <laughs> Me too. But I've got six hundred stockpiled. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I don't feel so bad because I've got nine hundred. Ooh, ooh. You know what? I just found this native. He's got tons of money. I'm gonna go attack him. Take all of his money. Oh, that would be me, wouldn't it? Oh, I just realized. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just attack the native who has the most money. Real clever, Roomba. Real, real clever. Micmac has 906. He's got he, you're two, two gold less than he is. Well, now I have way less because I just started building some more uh, troops. I almost want, like, is, is there any uh, free province over near you, Roomba? Or do you have it all on the coast? No, there's totally nothing available over here. <laughs> I think he might be. He might be. I mean, I can't really tell. Pulling the wool over my eyes here. Can't, I wish I could see. Well, I can't see past this shit. I'm not trying to take it. I just want, like, Portugal to take some so we can stomp them and then, like, bait the them into is, sending their whole army over. It's really hard to know, like, which one to leave available for them because I don't know. I, I, I have a vague idea, maybe, of where Spain and Portugal are. Mm. But I don't. I can't know for sure. So. I don't know. I am tempted to leave a couple of them open, though. I yeah, I think you should. Just that, that province is like it's a ghost colony. It's basically a ticket to Westernization. Yeah, for just me. No, because uh, Mathis will be next to you. So after you Westernize, he'll be able to Westernize, right? Yeah, in like twenty years. <laughs> oh, you, you have to wait for the Westernization to complete. I think, unless actually you do change to Western Tech the second you click the button. So maybe. Maybe you could westernize the second that I click the button. Mm. Certainly hope so. That'd be great. Yeah. What is... Hmm. Run some math for me quickly. What is 75% of 38? It's like 9.5 19 divided by 2. 27. 9.5. I'm starting to see things out of the corner. 30? 9.5 9 .5 times 3. Or, yeah. or 38 minus 9.5. So 30... 29, 28, something. <laughs> 47, 52, 82, yeah. whatever, 42.3, just throw random numbers out. I was going to say, we're all just like shouting numbers at each other. <laughs> that's the that's new highlight of the series. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Come on, Portugal, I'm ready. I mean, I, I'm, I just want my manpower to be fully replenished at this point. What's your manpower at right now? Uh, 7,000. <laughs> Mine's 639. What? Why is it so low? Because I keep building uh, oh. more more troops. I'm just going to let my manpower replenish. I'm at 22,000. 
It's not what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm I'm just uh, doing this to get to uh, a mission. Like I have a mission that's being done right oh, now. Oh, yeah, you got the one that you got to be ninety percent. Seventy-five percent of the force limit. Oh, okay. Takes forever. You know, that's one yeah. of those things. Why don't they just put the damn number on there? Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. You know, like the tooltips. You know, just add more to the tooltips. <laughs> Spend always... one hundred diplo power to change the culture. Excuse me. <laughs> It could be worth it, long term. Well, it's it's worth it so I can at least get this mission done. But geez, it's kind of expensive. <clears throat> yeah, take it, take it, natives. Excuse me. Stupid natives trying to poke me with their spear. I poked them. Back. You're the natives. No, natives of this un uncivilized land that I'm civilizing. No, oh, this guy. With my spears and tents. Man, colonial maidens. Maintenance is 16.9 per month. Yeah, you can see if you hover over the actual cost how much each additional colony costs you. Okay. Like the first, my first colony is two gold. The next one's 4.4. Like it doubles pretty quick. My first colony. Oh, God. Yeah, Oglala cost me 10.4. Jesus. Better be worth it. <laughs> it won't be. Yeah, no, it definitely will not be. Come on, Castile or Portugal? When you colonize, colonize something. Go ahead. Better, better be Castile. I bet on them. I said Portugal, so. Yeah, that's the easy way out. Right. Yeah, Portugal does start. They start off with three explorers. So even though they don't have the idea group that unlocks explorers, they have they have some. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, that's one of the ways they give them a leg up on the competitors. Is the game even moving? It feels like it's not I even. Know. <laughs> it's so slow. Uh, I'm doing stuff. I'm starting. I'm just waiting. Uh, my my exhaustion is starting to kick in. I'm starting to see things out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, yeah, oh. man, you haven't slept. No, I haven't slept yet. And I just like I look. I keep looking over because I swear to God, I keep seeing something like run by my door. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's not. And that was the last <laughs> time we ever heard Mathis' voice. <laughs> It was a ghost. I'm like, oh, it's my cat. Oh, wait, my cat's sleeping right over here. That's not my cat. Um, I'm just going to blame it on being tired. <laughs> hey, the Zapotec are really kicking it to the Maya. Good. Keep the Maya occupied. I don't want them fucking attacking me. But now I'm worried about the Zapotec, though. Uh, You know, I'm going to recall my, my diplomat, who is with the Maya, currently improving relations. Yeah, they won't exist. My, chi soon, my so. chief, the province of the Pawnee is now considered part of our patrimony. You know what that means? So Time to kick out the Iroquois. I don't, I don't even, like, I got a pop-up a while ago that was like, we don't consider the Iroquois people anymore. I was like, okay. I'm just going to kick them out. Get the fuck out. That's what I have to say to you, sir. Can you do that? Well, I'm just I'm converting them. Changing their culture. Hmm. Take about four years to convert them completely. What's your mission right now? Uh, let my manpower restore. Oh, right, yeah. I'm at 2,500, so I'm not sweating it too much. I'm at 8,000, so I'm not right. I'm not bad either. But I lose. Oh. What the fuck is this shit? Comet sighted. I can <laughs> I can lose a stability, or I can lose a stability. What the does it, like? <laughs> yeah, I love that they give you a choice for it. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. I've actually not seen that yet in this game. I remember reading the patch notes where they said that they they gave you an alternative option. Yeah, and I yeah. I was I wanted to know like what's the alternative option? Apparently, are they being funny? It's just yeah. two choices. Yeah, yeah, two yeah, choices yeah. Are the <laughs> same exact thing. Yeah, it's like the end is near, and you're like it's a portent of foul times, and yeah. then they're both minus one stability. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's pretty good. Uh, Paradox is pretty comical. They're pretty funny. <laughs> just boost my stability back up. I don't give a fuck. All right, we need a new general. My general died. Poor guy. I'll miss him dearly. It's, it's no big deal. Right. And I got this guy who's slightly better. He's better at skill number three, whatever the fuck that is. Oh, that's a good one. The, the arrow skill. circling or like avoiding the star falling or whatever. Yeah. Good one. It's dodging shooting stars. Right. You're being sieged, uh, Ryan. Yeah, I know. You freaking patriot <laughs> rebels in Yankton rose up. Mahican Thanks peasants. a lot, Max. I'm on my oh, way. Oh, they are peasants. Never mind. No, I got them. It's no big deal. Uh, I didn't know if you had many close or not. Oh, wow. This is, uh, I'm getting you into a false sense of security if you think I'm that weak. No, no. God, yes. No. <laughs> how how are we doing over here, Waco? We're almost, you almost like me. Like, I am not doing fantastically, but I do have 
25 regimens, so. Pretty good. Ooh. Big roller. Big well. roller. Uh, well, that's going to wrap up the episode, I guess. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series or are enjoying it, please make sure you drop a like and a comment below and let us know your thoughts on the... the what was that noise? I'm trying to trying to do something else before the game ends. Oh, oh gotcha. <laughs> well, Ruba's cheating, and while he's cheating, <laughs> uh, make sure you check out the description below to head over to Northern Lion and Ruba's channels and, and vice versa on their channels to check out our respective res perspectives. You like that? Yeah, that's good. I like that. Ooh. Respective Jesus. perspectives, and we will see you all, hopefully, tomorrow. Bye-bye. Later. See you soon.